What is up YouTube and welcome to this very special video. So if you're new to the channel, a like and a subscribe is mega, mega appreciated. And this is something which I put a Twitter poll up yesterday asking which story arc do you want me to cover? And well, the overwhelming majority of you chose the Justice League Origins. And this is the new 52 story arc origins of the justice league which is absolutely stunning and if you're unaware the justice league movie is actually going to be pretty much following very very close to this storyline so let's jump in and take a look so we start with green lantern and batman fighting in gotham city while chasing a parademon our batman is in gotham city a parademon is on the loose in the city and the authorities are chasing batman only for green lantern to join the fight and well it doesn't go well for either of them but they eventually team up and batman reveals that a parademon was planting a bomb under gotham city but this bomb turns out to be a mother box and it turns out that there are quite a few mother boxes across the world so Green Lantern, Hal Jordan, and Batman arrive in Metropolis only to be taken out by the Superman, who is not happy with these people being in his city, despite Parademons having a presence in Metropolis as well with their mother boxes. So Batman and Superman fight until they are broken up by Hal Jordan, trying to get them to see sense, and Superman is attacked by a Parademon, with a mother box as well. Now this fight really is not going well until Hal Jordan calls on Barry Allen, the Flash. The Flash appears and fights Superman himself until Superman is actually able to take down the Flash with just a flick of his fingers. But while this is all going on, Cyborg's father also has a mother box and is working on it at Star Labs. Now, Vic, before he is the cyborg, is trying to discuss scholarships based on his very successful football career at high school. But his father is absolutely having none of it and does not agree with his career of actually becoming a football player in the NFL. Now, Batman, Hal Jordan, and Superman, and also The Flash are trying to work out just what this machine is, what this mother box actually is, and what it does. But suddenly it starts pinging and goes off. Suddenly the boom tube happens and parademons invade, and they are screaming for Darkseid. Now Victor, aka Cyborg, but he's not Cyborg just yet, is incinerated, and his father is distraught. Now we cut to Wonder Woman as she is with Steve Trevor. Wonder Woman escapes the place where she is being held or being kept with Steve Trevor when a parademon actually appears and she fights this parademon with Steve Trevor and then parademons are taking scientists and portals are opening across the world. Now Batman takes on hordes of these parademons as victor is rushed to star labs as more even more parademons appear and wonder woman joins the fight with the rest of the future justice league now victor is given a nanite injection and a promethium skin graft as his body and his cyborg powers his come on board computer starts to boot up Cyborg has a vision of Darkseid over on Apocalypse. Now Aquaman, Arthur Curry joins the fray from the water, fighting parademons and stating that, well, who is in charge? And he suggests himself. Then parademons invade Star Labs and Cyborg's powers are actually set to auto, as his father explains and he dispatches the parademons that have invaded Star Labs. Now, he runs off and says, you did this to me, as his father looks on. Now, Wonder Woman, Superman, Green Lantern, 
Superman and The Flash, as well as Aquaman, argue who is the leader as Aquaman summons sharks to fight and eat the parademons as he tries to explain his powers to the rest of the team. Now, Cyborg is getting used to his powers and translates the words that the parademons are saying and what commands and is transported to the signal source and joins the rest of the team and explains just what the hell is actually going on just as Darkseid appears in front of our group. Now the Flash stares down Darkseid and Superman attacks. Superman is taken down by Darkseid and the Green Lantern is defeated. Batman reveals his identity to Green Lantern to give him a pep talk and to prove just how big this actually is. Batman hijacks a parademon to head to Superman to where Superman has been taken as Superman has been taken by the parademon army and the rest of the team unite. Now Batman finds himself boom tubed to Apocalypse. This is the planet of Darkseid and it is not a pretty sight at all. It is a war torn hellish landscape and well the public are now growing hopeful that the Justice League are fighting the invaders as Darkseid is searching for his daughter and Cyborg explains that these mother boxes exist around the universe and there are many other planets. Now back on Apocalypse Superman is about to be experimented on by Steppenwolf as Steppenwolf wants to try and create a next level, a next level escalation of a warrior for Darkseid. While this is going on, Wonder Woman and Aquaman take out Darkseid's eyes and he is put on the back foot. Now, Cyborg activates all of the mother boxes and Superman reappears, saved by Batman as Superman returns and fights Darkseid. Now the battle is really in the hands of Cyborg here with his boom tubes as he creates one and sends everyone back to whence they came. And now all of the mother boxes are actually fried and they have no way of actually coming back to Earth to raise more hell. And we cut to everyone the president is praising the group and they, the president actually asks, what name do you have? Well, they say, with a Super 7. And now we cut to a book written by a journalist of the whole account of just what happened and is entitled The Justice League. So I hope you enjoyed that telling of just how the Justice League were formed in the New 52. Now, Interestingly, this covers quite a few things which are actually in the Justice League movie. So we have rest of the team fighting without Superman for some a, a bit. And we also have parademons in Gotham City. And they're also actually abducting all the people, all the scientists. And also we have Cyborg's father who has a mother box as well. So there are quite a lot of parallels here and the story is pretty much following this story arc of the first proper six issues of New 52 Justice League. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please do drop a like. If you want to see more of these videos, please do drop a like and let me know in the comments what other comic book story arcs you want me to actually cover. So I'll see you soon and goodbye.